Hi, my name's David Byrne. I'm excited that this year, 2021, uh, New York, where I live, is going to adopt ranked choice voting uh, for the upcoming city council and mayoral elections. Now, why am I so happy about that? Uh, well, I've been a big fan of ranked choice voting for quite a while now. Uh, what is it? What is it? Well, it means that instead of just voting for one candidate and that's it, you get to vote for your top favorite, your second top, top favorite, and on down, depending on how, how it works in your, your state. Uh, a number of places have adopted this, and it has a number of effects. It's very simple in that, in that way, like you just vote your top, sec, you know, your, you rank your favorites. But it has this knock-on effect that's kind of amazing. It means that everybody's voice gets to be heard. Normally, in the old voting style, if your candidate didn't get elected, you had this feeling like my voice was not heard. Uh, nothing that I want. Nothing, no one's there to represent me. Whereas with ranked choice, you may not get your favorite, but you may still have an influence, your vote may still go towards someone who represents a lot of what you believe in. So you still feel like you have some kind of voice. Your voice is not completely obliterated. It also has lots of other effects too, which are all pretty good. For example, the candidates have a tendency not to squabble with one another, not to fight dirty in ranked choice voting because the person you're talking trash about might be <laughs> your voter's second choice, might be your voter's first choice. And so you don't want to turn people away from that person completely. You might want to win, but you don't want everybody else to hate you because then their votes are not going to go tumble into your pile. They're going to rank you way down at the bottom. Uh, there's other effects, uh, some of which I like, which not, are not likely to happen in the immediate future. With ranked choice votings, voting, uh, you can have multiple candidates, of course, um, but not just two. But another thing that could happen is you don't need political parties. Oh, man, wouldn't that be nice? if we didn't have all that yelling and screaming and partisan crap that's been going on for quite a number of years now. Anyway, thank you. I'm very excited that this is happening. Have a good day.